This is a 2013 Ford Explorer. 175,000 miles on it. These are actually decent vehicles. The police get these and they abuse the living crap out of them. And they actually sort of hold up. But this one has sort of an interesting problem. It, uh, it blows a fuse for the electric power steering. And it's just a 5 amp, like a, a memory fuse type thing. It's not the main supply. And so the way I diagnose these when I get a fuse that blows is I substitute it with a light bulb. Just like dim bulb on a vintage piece of electronics for those of you who watch that stuff I do. So right there is my light bulb and it's just substituted for the fuse that blows. Now I'm going to shift into drive. I'm going to give it a little gas. Now I'm going to shift into reverse. Let's drive again. So what's going on here is there's a short in the harness. And I've seen this quite a few times where you get a couple wires that are in the harness near the exhaust or something in the over the over the course of 175,000 miles, how many hours that is. The insulation breaks down and the wires touch inside the harness. And when you shift it and you tilt the engine a certain way uh, it, it rocks the harness and they short together so i'm back into drive now i'm going to give it gas so you can see what's going on there and this is what i mean by substitute a light bulb so this is the fuse that's having the problem fuse 89 that's blowing and that I've substituted with the light bulb and you can see it comes over here to the power steering control which is the rack rack and pinion so it's a violet and gray so here's the electric steering rack wow that's actually a factory unit another shop replaced it a bunch of times wow no wonder why it's shorting out it's inside of a a metal shielded yeah it's probably right in here where it's near the exhaust and unless I pull this all apart let's reground this and then test it we'll drop it down and turn the key on and I'll move it and we'll see if we see the short The, the lights up there, we would see it. You know, now of course, I can't get it to do it. I've seen this exact problem on Ford before several times. Ford Escape. It's just the insulation they use on the wires is biodegradable and it... All right, let's drop it down. But yet, as soon as I put it in drive, it where is that where is that harness right here oh see that look if I just move oh. that if I just move it right here it's right here oh that's dear. let me let me get the light bulb over here so we can show and tell right here you think maybe it's cut through right there on 
on off on a, you think maybe it's rubbed through right there okay we got it here I'll, I'll zoom in on it in the mirror you can see where it's rubbed through see the copper right there yep. so we're rubbed through and shorting out so what it did is it rubbed through on this bolt right here can we get rid of that bolt and just put a it's actually a it's actually a stud can we get rid of that that's a transmission pan get rid of that and just put a regular bolt Mm -hmm. or I know what we could do just put a piece of hose over that bolt and wrap the thing with tape uh, just fix it by cutting a piece of old radiator hose and putting it over it to add as extra insulation and that'll never be a problem again not as long as this car lasts I think it's leaking from the, the water pump the it's leaking all over the place. This thing is really beat down. Hey, look at the water pump. Oh. Look at the crust. Yeah, this thing is kind of at its end of life. So that should keep it going for a minute. That was a quick and simple one. I was, I was prepared to replace the wire all the way from the fuse box to the steering rack. Just for double protection, I'm going to put this over the bolt. More is better. 